Hello, I went to the bins this week and I found some good stuff. So stick around for my thrift haul. Here we go. Hello you all, I hope you're doing well. I'm here to show you what I found at the Goodwill Outlet bins this week. I did actually go twice. I spent $12 one day and $5.76 the other day, very random number. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got for just under $12, $20, what am I saying? And actually, I'm going to insert some footage, some of the items I've already put in use in my home. So let's insert that footage and get it out of the way now. Okay, so if you remember a few, gosh, it was a few months back now, I found this basket. I love that basket. We've used it at several family parties for like chips and snacks. It's just a very useful basket and hung it there because I like to hang my baskets. I just think that it's kind of fun and country. And I really wanted another one to put here. So I just found this one. And I was talking to Molly, I was like, you think I should paint it? And she's like, I kind of like the rusty white look. So I may actually restain the handles just to, um, you know, brighten up that wood a little bit, but I think I'm gonna leave the rusty, because uh, I'm not using it for food. Like I always put like a towel in or something or it's wrapped snacks or whatever that would go into there. So anyway, so that's something I'm using. Don't mind the mark on the wall. We took down our uh, window treatment and that's the mark that it left. Oh, and this is the new window we got. Um, I told you on my vlogging channel, oh, it's hard for me to, to get a picture of it because of the sun, let's see. Well, anyway, you can see it's white and they did have to replace some of the woodwork. So we have to stain it, but quite pleased with how those turned out. Okay. On to the next bins find. Oh, actually, while I'm over here, I also picked this up. Now that I picked up last week in last week's Goodwill bins uh, haul. And this week I found this. I was going to sell that, but I kind of like it. I've been into the French country thing and copper is uh, something you see a lot in French country kitchen. So I have it there for now. And if I get tired of it, I can always put it at the shop, but I think it's nice for fall. So a nice little bit of copper in the room. Okay, other thing, one other thing in the same area. So this is my kitchen sink and we had this soap pump pumper. This has our hand soap. And previously we were using this for our dish soap, but for some reason it stopped working. And so and Chris has tried to fix it. It's just, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with it, but we had the uh, Dawn bottle of soap here. And I was like, I really need a nice soap dispenser. So I was at the bins. This is new. There was nothing in it and like no uh, indication that it had ever been used. So I put our dish soap in there and this I had from Target. I've always used this here. It's a nice way to catch like extra water. And then I keep this here just so we can easily clean our counter. Whoa. Wow. I really like this cleaner, by the way method all purpose and it smells like grapefruit anyway so that was another great and useful bins find this week okay and i don't want to carry this over to where i'm doing the haul because i might break it but this is just one of those like cookie jars from target they're about 10 or 12 dollars and i got this at the bins because i told you they're back to charging 49 cents for all glass so i got this for 49 cents I'm not sure if I'll use it for cookies. I've used them for cookies and they do a fine job or if I'll use it for decor. Um, you can do vignettes in there. You can kind of use it like a cloche. Haven't decided yet, but I thought for 49 cents, this was a good find and it was not broken at all. Like it's not chipped or anything. So that was also a good find. Okay, and I also got this little white wicker chair at the bins. I don't know if it was originally for a doll or something, but I am using it as a plant stand. I didn't even have to paint it. This was how it, I found it. Sorry, the dirt came out of one of my pots, but I think it's super cute and it's just a nice little way to raise up a pot. Okay, and one other item, I am telling you, this is kind of the week that I was like, I need this, this, and this. And then I went to the bins and I found this, this, and this. It was great. So that's how I felt about the soap dispenser. That's how I felt about the basket. And then something else I didn't get footage of, but you can imagine what it is. It is one of those uh, accordion clothes dryers. And you know, it's like wooden and it has the white things across. They're like coated in plastic so you can hang things to dry. We, we hang, um, we hang dry a lot of our clothes 
it saves electricity and it saves the clothing. It makes things last longer. They don't, you know, fade as quickly. So we do hang dry a lot of our things on those racks, but one of ours got broken because our son, you know, broke it. <laughs> But they're kind of expensive. They're like $30 just for the smaller ones. And sorry, I was playing with my phone case. I have to take my phone case off so that I can record. There's a little secret, a behind the scenes secret, and I was playing with it, which I shouldn't be. But anyway, so the clothing rack broke and uh, so <laughs> we were kind of trying to lean it against things so we could still use it, but really it was a lost cause. So I was really happy. I had been looking for one at a yard sale and actually I saw one at a yard sale before the one broke. And so I didn't get that one. So I was like, oh, but then I went to the bins and I think I paid like a dollar for it like because it was in that $5 haul. It really isn't heavy at all and it's super useful and it's big. So that was also a good find. So let me go ahead and show you the rest of what I got. I oh, This was another thing. I don't know what happened to all our lunch boxes, but our lunch boxes went missing and like everyone needed a lunch box the same week because Hannah had some dance classes she was going to like all day dance classes and Maddie was going to work and Molly goes to work every day. So everyone needed the lunch boxes and they were missing. So I went to the bins and in my $5 haul got two lunch boxes. One is more of like a cooler. It's got harder sides. It's red. Maddie uses that. So I don't have it right now. And then Hannah took this one. It's like brand new. It's actually it was cleaner before she took it. It has like a little mark in it, but it was like spiffy, like never used. She used it for five days and um, she'll probably use it at school too. So anyway, it's cute. It has cats. She likes cats. Thought that was adorable and very clean. Probably never used. No evidence that it was ever used. So those were two other very practical finds this week. For my vintage books collection, which now I should be able to display soon because I told you Maddie got an apartment and so I am going to get my vintage craft room YouTube room whatever you want to call it room back and uh that's where all my vintage books the ones that I keep for myself mostly like Bambi um and some Raggedy Ann and some Holly Hobby that's where all of those are so I'll have access to them again and um <laughs> so i got this one to include in my collection called bambi grows up i thought it was just adorable look at that oh my gosh it's so cute like honestly that is so cute i want to display it like this i might do that in like a book stand adorable or on the back of a shelf this one is copyright 1979 i was three so got that sorry if you, see, you hear yelling uh mad it's it's Friday evening and Maddie is playing video games. I got this for the shop. So I'm guessing it's probably from the 80s. It's in a dress book. It is not written in. But the reason I think it's probably from the 80s or maybe the 90s, it could be the 90s, is that it has, maybe it's the 90s. It has like, so here's the phone symbol. So you, the person's name, phone symbol, their address. But then it also has like a mobile phone which with an antenna, which I thought was really cute. And that might be a fax number. So it really probably is the 90s, I would guess. Anyway, I thought that was cute and pretty. I have no use for it, but maybe someone collects those. So, and then also for the shop, it's Feminist ABC's Alphabet Flashcards from Activist to Zero Tolerance. <laughs> just, just really funny. And I think these will definitely sell. A lot of these like gifty kind of things sell at the shop. So I will show you the cover. Um, that's the cover, kind of funny. So those I'll put at the shop. We have a very uh, youthful crowd that shops there. And so maybe that'll be something that sells. Also for the shop, I got this. This was marked uh, 99 cents at Goodwill. And it's like a resin with little, I don't know, pieces of, is it shells or, I can't really tell what's in there. But that's definitely like 70s retro hot, hot plate. I think someone will definitely buy this. So I thought that was cool. Okay, and then for me, these are for me. Okay, I always pick these up when I find them. They're like plate display things. These are great. Someone, I think Michelle Mack, she is someone that comments on a lot of my videos and knows a lot about glass. And she had suggested, I had like a uranium glass I think it was her or maybe it was Heather. I don't remember. If I'm giving credit to the wrong person, my apologies. But um, anyway, so they someone suggested like, oh, display that plate with a clear, 
plate stand because then when you have a clear glass or this one was like a green glass but it, you could still see through it then you don't have like the ugly plate stand showing behind the pretty glass plate um, it's just clear and it's like less distracting so I thought that was a great idea and this is a really nice big one and then I got this um, usually I get black ones I don't have any brown ones so I don't know. I just keep them on hand because I'm always using them for different decor, either plates or pictures, you know, like easel signs that I make. Like you can, there's tons of uses for those things and they're not cheap to buy. So I just pick them up. If I find them at the bins, I pick them up because they're really cheap at the bins. Okay. This was a score. So I guess this could have vintage paint underneath. I don't know. It looks like someone painted them. Um, this one says matches, so cute. It's a little bent, but that's fine. I'm definitely gonna hang this one probably just as it is in my kitchen. Goodwill had it for $4.99. This one, oh, I bet it had a cute vintage graphic underneath, which I can't see. Maybe I'll look into how to remove paint, but then it would probably take the graphic off as well. So maybe, you know what I did find? I found some of those vintage water decals that people used to put on like glass jars and like on enamelware things. So maybe I'll just put one of those on here and I'll get the same effect. Um, it is kind of, you know, it's cool old paint. Like it's, it's chippy and everything, but I bet it was really cool underneath that. But you know, what can you do? Anyway, so Goodwill had $4.99 on each of these. I would not have paid that, but I am super happy to have two to add to my kitchen. I like to hang these around the kitchen for no other purpose than I just think they're cool. Okay, uh, let's see what else. Okay, so I never did do my basket wall and then I made different plans because where I was gonna put the basket wall changed. and I, I haven't decided yet what to do about it because I was redoing my living room and then I decided ah, I don't really know what I wanna do in there yet. So blah, blah, long story short, I did get this because I'd still like to do some form of a basket wall somewhere in my living room. I'm just not sure. It might be changing locations, but I thought this would be cool um, for that purpose. I got to clean it up a little. It's got something, something a little gross over here, but it's a cool um, basket and it'll look cool hanging on the wall because it has the different designs in it. So, so that's what that's for. And then I got these two things. These are primitives. I think this one I'm just going to keep as it is. So it's like a little rooster thing and maybe put some flowers in it for fall. I just think it's cute and it'll be cute on like a tiered tray or something. Cause you know, I like, I know it's not a rooster, it's a hen or, well, that is a rooster, isn't it? But why does it say hens? I don't know. Someone who uh, lives on a farm can explain that to me. Maybe he's looking for hens. <laughs> I don't know, but it's cute. And uh, for this city girl, it's close enough. So this I'm going to keep just as it is. It's like a black primitive finish. And I like that kind of 90s country thing. This is another thing. Uh, this I will probably paint. It's made to hang on a wall. But if I painted it like, hmm, or I could do something for Christmas in this. I don't know. I'm not, okay, I'm not committing. To, either way, I'm probably going to paint it because I don't do burgundy. But I could paint it red and do something for Christmas time. And then I'd also have it for like patriotic decor. I could use it for Christmas time and patriotic decor. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'll do, but uh, I think it's cute and I can hang it somewhere. And again, I like primitives. I know it's out of style, but I don't care. And then this I got, this I, I don't know. I just thought it was cool. It is also primitive. It's like someone got rid of all their primitive decor. I probably will paint over this though. I, I don't like the burgundy. It's just not my thing right now. Um, I also don't like this. I like this. I don't like the background color. It's kind of like an orange. I'm not a fan of that. I don't know. So anyway, but it's lightweight. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to take this. It's probably like a dollar. And I'll figure out what I want to do with it. Because I was, what I was thinking is I could paint it. And then you could put like little, you know, flowers or boxwood or some kind of I don't know. I don't know. Collectible something, wooden spindly things or something. I don't really know. But uh, yeah, don't know. It'd be good on a shelf. I don't know. <sighs> a lot of times at the bins, I'm like, I think this would be good. If it's not, like really, I spent $20 on all of this. If I wind up donating something back, it's not a big loss. So 
Okay, this I thought was cool. It says, this is going to the shop. Uh, hand, made in, hand painted, made in Portugal. It is not chipped. It's not my style, but um, I probably will, I don't think I'll put it in the shop right now. I'll probably keep it for springtime. Spring and summer kind of looks like a spring summer thing, but we'll see. Okay, and then this I also got for the shop, Mazatlan, 1997. Aaron, love mom and dad. So I guess mom and dad got this for Aaron, and it's just this uh, bird. What is it? Parrot? It's not a parrot. What are these called? Toucan. Is it a toucan? Maybe. <laughs> um, so I thought that was cool. And so that will go to the shop. A lot of these like travel souvenirs sell for me. So that'll go to the shop. Remember, I am still trying to uh, fill my shelves, you know, get some more stuff for my shelves after the big, the big happening <laughs> when everything broke. Okay. And in, for anyone that was worried, I did get a, a hefty sum of money to replace, you know, in order to replace the things I lost. So no worries. I do feel like I was rightly, rightfully compensated. Everything was justly done. I love the people at the uh, Pink Elephant. And yeah, it was all taken care of and everything's going to be fine. It was just a shock when it happened. Okay, so this I got, this I probably, this was a big contributor, I'm getting, guessing, to my $12. But I got this because it's just a bag of old hardware, and I really liked these. And so when I do craft projects, like, you can use these as handles on a tray. That was one thing I thought of. Or if I do more of my faux sewing machine drawers, I could do it on that. If I got a piece of furniture that was cool, you know, I could use it on there. Um, so I thought those were really pretty. There's several of those. And then there's other like different kinds. Um, and they're all like that, I don't know, 70s brass. I say 70s brass because this is the kind of stuff that was on the furniture I had as a kid. But just all different designs. And if there's something that I don't want, I have sold things like this at the shop before. So that would be another option. But the ones that I like, there's four of them. These are the ones that I just think they're really pretty and would make really pretty handles on a tray. That was my thought, so. Okay, and then the other thing I got, it's a little broken, but uh, I mostly got it because I needed something to carry my stuff in, but I did think it was kind of cool too. It's a big old basket. Baskets are always useful. Here's where it's broken and it does have a design on it, which I am not, of which I am not a fan. Uh, looks like someone with not a lot of painting skills painted on it, but you know, hey, that's fine. And I do need to just glue this, but I would probably just use it like this. I like the color of the basket. I think it's a nice tone. So um, I don't know where yet. You can see I'm switching things up. I've moved the picnic baskets that were here over there. I moved a chair that was in the corner here over into the other room. So I'm just switching things around. I'll show you, I'm gonna do a fall home tour. I haven't done an, a home tour in a while, so I'll probably do one in the fall. Um, so yeah, just moving stuff around, putting my blue stuff out. Um, if you haven't seen that, you can see it on Instagram. I am going to do a, no, I didn't put it on Instagram because I'm going to do a hutch tour. And I think I'll do that on this channel next week because you guys are the ones that have seen, the people who watch this channel are the ones who have seen me pick all the stuff up, like all the blue and white stuff. So I thought it'd be fun to do that on this channel so you could see how, um, how I've uh, displayed it all. So anyway, so that'll be coming next week. And that's it for my bins haul. So I hope this was enjoyable. And you can tell me in the comments what's the most interesting thing or the thing you like the most of the things I picked up. And I hope you're having a good weekend. You'll probably see this, I think, on Saturday. So have a good weekend. Everyone stay safe. And uh, I will see you soon, probably with a thrift with me on Tuesday. Um, it's Friday and Molly and I are going to go thrifting because we got a VIP coupon, 20% uh, off of your entire purchase today only. I had to work and she had to work. So we're going out this evening. So that should be fun. So you'll probably see that on Tuesday. And until then, have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.